Good afternoon, Victor Bales coming to you from Highlands Mortgage up here at my studio at my home since I am self-quarantining or whatever you want to call it there. But anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, interest rates and refinancing. What does it mean to do that? With rates being very low, and I expect them actually to go a little lower, we're going to hit these little pockets of highs and lows through this very uh, volatile time in the marketplace. But I expect rates to stay low and even get lower, and some points go very low for some very short times. But I want you to be ready to go on the fence if you want to do so. But what I wanted to show you is what is the difference? Uh, what does a half a point or a half a percent rate drop mean to a mortgage? So I kind of want to show you an example here, and I'm going to share a screen with you. And you guys should be seeing that screen here. So I want you to follow along with me. Now, it doesn't really matter the mortgage amount or the interest rate, but I want you to see uh, the financial principles behind this. And in this example, we're going to use a $250,000 mortgage right now, and they're currently at a 4%, a respectable rate, especially in this uh, market environment. So it's, it's not too bad, but it could be lower. And it's on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, and the principal and interest is $1,193. And I want you to look here, is over the 30 years, they're going to pay $179,000 in interest. And they're going to pay off this mortgage in 30 years. So now let's go ahead and drop that rate by a half a percent, okay? So now we have $250,000 and now we drop the rate by a half a percent, 30 year fixed. Now the payment's $1,122 a month. That's a savings of about $71. And someone may say, well, Vic, hey, I don't wanna pay $2,500 to $3,000 to refinance to save $71, it just it doesn't make sense because it's gonna take maybe three years, three, three and a half years to, to break even. I said, okay, that's fine, I understand that, but let's take the cotton out of your ears and stick it in your mouth for just a little while, and I want you to just listen and follow through on this, these principles here. So anyway, we saved $71 a month, and by doing that, we're also, now only going to pay $154,000 in interest, not $179,000 in interest. So that saves us about twenty-three dollars to $25,000 in interest. So a little more intriguing, and we're going to pay it off in 30 years. And uh, so I'll, I'll turn around and say, so were you comfortable with the payment you were making at 4%? They said, yeah, everything was good. Life was good. We were rocking and rolling. They said, okay. So now let's take that $71 a month, and here's where the financial principle comes in, is let's take that rate drop, and our payment drop to $1,122, and now what we're gonna do is add that $71 to the principal each month. So what happens now? So over that loan term, now you're only gonna pay $136,000 in interest, not $179,000 in interest, Okay, and then also watch here. We're not paying it off in 30 years, but we're going to pay it off in 27 years. So you're going to have three years with no payments. So I want that to sink in a little bit here. So let's kind of recap of what's going on here. If you stay, or if this particular individual stayed in this mortgage, 250 grand, 4% over 30 years. 1193 is the principal and interest, pays $179,000 in interest. If we do the a half a point uh, or half a percent rate drop, payment drops to 1122, only pays $154,000 in interest. So we save 71 bucks a month and 25,000 in interest. To me, that right there is worth making a half a point rate swing here because it makes sense. But if we add those simple, financial principles, and we add that $71 a month to the principal, now he only pays $136,000 in interest from $179,000 originally, so we save $42,000 in interest, and now we don't, we pay it off in 27 years, not 30, so we have three years of no payments equaling another $42,948 in savings. So when we take the interest savings plus the three years of no making payments savings, 
That's a total of $85,780 of savings, and it costs $2,500 to $3,000. So to me, this is really a no-brainer. It's the, if you, if you don't do it, it's the most expensive loss you've ever taken to not pay $2,500 to $3,000 to save $85,000. So if you plan on staying in the home, you know, uh, this looks like a great move. Remember, the short game, $71 a month may not be a lot, but over the long haul, it really reaps the rewards. Remember, it's very difficult to get rich quick, but it's pretty easy to get wealthy slow. Now, as we see this COVID-19, we see all this unemployment. There's a lot of people with some financial hardship out there. And once we start all going back to work, there is going to be a pent-up demand because people are going to be hurt financially. They've been using their credit cards and all that. This is going to be a perfect storm for people who have that pent-up equity. They have two of uh, uh, their credit card debts have went up. It may be a perfect opportunity to take some of that equity, take cash out, hit that reset button, maybe pull even a little bit of money out for emergencies. So if we hit another wave of this COVID-19 or any other emergency that may come along in your life and start applying these principles. And now with the interest rates, you know, today they're at X, and tomorrow they're going to go here. And then the next day they're down here. As I've been talking about, they go in these little pockets of uh, higher and lower. So my advice is even if you are thinking about considering this, go ahead and get the application done with your lender or come over to me. I'll definitely help you out here. Go to victorbales.com and download the app or apply. And we get you on the fence. We get you some proposals. We get you on a rate, a rate watch. And uh, so we start talking numbers and we actually get your loan underwritten. So when we hit that low rate, we lock and roll because we want to beat everybody to the punch. Because the reason why these rates are going up drastically within an hour or two some days is the lenders are letting people in at these low rates and then they become at capacity and they shut it down. So you want to be on that fence ready to strike when the iron's hot. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Go to victorbales.com, download the app, or give me a call, 734-417-2115, and I can definitely do a Zoom meeting with you uh, until they uh, open up the world. I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.